Um, hi, uh, welcome to another installment of Oko DBA Twitter. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, install the Golden Gate software. Again, so Golden Gate is just a um, it's just a uh, data application um, uh, software from Oko. So basically, it allows for you to uh, basically just capture data uh, from a source database and um, basically just uh, transfer it over to a, a, a target database. Uh, in a different environment. <coughs> so basically what I'll do now is I'm actually going to go to the uh, OCO website. <coughs> so pretty much the Golden Gate again is just it's going to be it's part of the uh, the uh, OCO, so OCO um, uh, family of software where basically it's just you have the middleware you have fusion, you have fusion middleware you have the um, the uh, basically the the web logic so it's part of that family of uh, OCO softwares <coughs> so pretty much when you get to this page uh, again you're already in the middle of uh, what the middle of uh, softwares are so you just click on the boarding gate So, actually, what this is taking place, I want to show you what I have a um, I already have it downloaded. Um, so, this is what the file, um, the folder looks like after you download it. You have to um, basically you're gonna have a compressed file um, after the download, and you have to basically uncompress it and and create and, and basically just place in a um. And and then run the run the uh, that the uh, that exe to set up the set up uh, the set up uh, 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 process to basically just get the um, to get a software onto your onto your system. So <coughs> again, just accept accept the agreement. And then again, so for me, I uh, believe this was the one that I downloaded uh, version twelve point one point two. So after you download it, after you download it, uh, basically you have, then you have, um, if I go to, I should already have it open, or maybe not. There you go. So this is what the download looks like. <coughs> so after you download it, you um, pretty much have access to the Golden Gate software now. And again, so this is what it looks like. But if you try to run it this way, it's going to tell you that basically your file is still compressed because of uh, zip folder. So that's that's the reason for the error. So what you have to do is you have to uncompress it. So again, extract it, and then you can extract it to whatever path you want. Uh, so I already have mine uh, basically ex uh, uncompressed. So this is what it looks like when you uncompress it. So again, this, um, and then also you might get some errors about some uh, some that EXE process is not not, um, not basically wanting to uh, complete or to, to you know to, to be to, to go to sort of uh, uh, just uh, just uh, to to, uh, to to not want to transfer to, to be part of the of the conversion from the from the confessed to the unconfessed uh, folder, but then again, you, all you have to do is look, what I did is I just I just ignore that and I um and I just uh, clicked on next and basically all those processes uh, were still converted. So just ignore that uh, if you do encounter that issue. So <coughs> after that, uh, again, just double, just uh, start uh, just going to set the setup uh, button. 
and pretty much what you're going to configure here is you're going to configure uh the manager you're going to configure the um you're going to configure the uh, directory for the golden gate software um so pretty much so while this is taking place <coughs> let me show you what where i have my setup uh, for my golden gate software so i believe which the right here So let me put this up. So I have again. So this is what my what my uh my directory for my uh, Golden Gate software. So if I log in again, this is again this is just a name conversion from Oracle or GG Core. And also in terms of if you look in if you look right here in terms of the Golden Gate software you can install. You have the choices <coughs> from that from this installation, <coughs> the, the Windows installation. <coughs> You can actually uh, install uh, Golden Gate uh, for database 11G, Open Database 11G, or you can install Golden Gate for Open Data for Open Database 12C. I have uh, I have both, so but uh, I put I just decided to install it for 12C. So let me just click on next. <coughs> so again, you just have to figure. You have to uh, basically just uh, create um, or. Of set up some um, some directories for the going to get for the uh, the going to get software. So here, what I can do is again, so I already have. If I look at <coughs> my own directory, I already have uh, 12C GG software. <coughs> so if I wanted to basically um, set up my, let me make sure I bring this up. If I want to set up uh, a second a second directory, so what I would do is let's say uh, okay, take this away product OGG core. Let's make that twelve uh, C. To software <coughs> again. <coughs> so what I'm doing is I have to go. I'm gonna configure uh, uh the Golden Gate uh, software for different databases. So um, let me see. Twelve to software. Maybe I should make that two. So OG Core one and then OG Core two. <coughs> okay. And then for the database uh, home, I think I already have already have one created for um, for uh, home DB home one, so I'm gonna put one on DB one too. And then the neat thing is, if you notice it uh, again, since I since I selected uh, 12, 12 C databases of my Golden Gate, basically again that's that's what the uh, Oracle the Oracle in, you know internal user will tell. Uh, you know, sort of petition uh, for me to be able to select uh, for my for the installation. So I want to select Baby Home too. And then, so if I, in terms of <coughs> the manager port, the D forty seven eight zero nine. But because I already have a uh, a uh, managed port uh, seventy eight zero nine, uh, a, a, a manager port seventy eight zero nine for my for DB Home one, I'm going to switch move this one over to seventy eight ten. So let me click next. <coughs> so basically, here again, you just you just reviewing uh, your uh, your uh, setup uh, details. So after after if you, if you're comfortable with with this uh, with this configuration, then you just click install. <coughs> and this does not take uh, that long. Compared to, of course, the you know how long you have to wait if you are if you're doing installation for a, for a database. <coughs> so, if you look at what I have here, so my my flow, my directory is actually getting set up. It's getting it's, it's getting created. It's, be, it's being created right now. So if I I look inside OGG Core 2. It's, it's definitely being worked on. So 
is deficient. So what's gonna happen after the uh, after this process goes through? Because I because I selected uh, start manager, um, that there was a there was a clickable button, and and that's gonna start the manager. What's gonna happen is this uh, not this one, but this this uh this window is gonna open up. And this is what the man, what the uh, what basically just that's this is the this is the manager window. It's gonna it's gonna basically just show you that okay, this you already have the manager, what the process ID is for the manager, uh, what the port is for that manager. So basically, when this is done, there should be there should be another window that opens up. <coughs> The first thing that you have to do is after you um after you install the golden gate software you're gonna if you look at the directory you're gonna want you're gonna think to yourself okay okay I have golden golden gate but what am I supposed to do with golden gate right um what's the point of having it because <clears throat> if you, if you go to the directory you see that there's basically uh there's no um there's no direct um, there's no there's no co correlation between like what's in front of you and what and what has to perform like you like you're familiar with uh, some of the, the things that you some of the processes right like uh, extract or um, uh, uh, maybe yeah that's the only thing that you, that oh, that'd be great. so you might you might have you might have you might know the concept for those but you might just you might be wondering so how do I use this so the first thing that you do is let me see the first thing that you do is you need to start a command line prompt. So <coughs> let me do this actually. I will command line. <coughs> so how you how you use Golden Gate is you're gonna um you're gonna have to basically be on uh, the Golden Gate uh, software uh, control interface. So basically, first thing you do is you have to CD into the directory, into this the uh, OGG core directory. You need to be able to access the. If you look at, <coughs> if you look at all the files that you have, um, all the parts that you have um, in this directory. Okay, so it's done. Okay, so um, I don't have to use the first one. Let me let me go into the second one then. So if you look at this directory, you wanna look, you need to find a ggsei um, ap uh, application or that exe uh, application. So it's this one, right? So what you do is I'm gonna seed into this directory. So copy this. <clears throat> so again, as I told as I've told you, so uh, seventy eight ten. This is the manager for uh, Golden Gate uh, for my, for my manager number two, the second Golden Gate software. Um, so, <coughs> so CD into this directory, and then you need to run <coughs> the GG SCI. So GG SCI. And so now, now you're into the uh, Golden Gate, uh, what's known as the Golden Gate uh, command um, interpreter. So. Basically, <coughs> so what you need to do is first thing you need to do is you need to um, do run info mgr. So the uh, that means that the manager is running. So uh, pretty much, what else do you need to do? You can also edit the parameters for edit parameters, edit params mgr. So basically, this allows you to set up the different parameters for the <coughs> for the manager. So if you wanted to, you know, set up a directory for for extractions um, after after some process, you can you can basically just put in the prime the prime this here. But I think it's the extract extract <coughs> process or uh, extract extract something something something. And you have to put the, the um you have to put the uh, the directory location for that. Uh, this can be again. You can you can uh, play around with this file. Uh, later on, so I'm not going to save that. 
And I'm trying to think. Uh, there are some. There are some other points that I can that I can look up. Um, so actually, you know what? This is uh, this is a very. Uh, this is this is actually a good place to stop. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to basically again just access again. So keep in mind, I I attach. Uh, Different databases to uh, to each my of my Golden Gate software. So next, I'm going to show you how to basically uh, connect to those databases and then use the different uh, the processes that I that I uh, that I talked about earlier, which which are the extract process and the and the, uh, and the replica process, uh, and basically and basically how how you can you know capture different data data sets um, on your databases. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.